We have discussed the games with perfect information so far and the perfect information means that every player has perfect knowledge about the developments in the game until that round. So it can see what is the current state of the game, what are the actions that has been played by each of the other players and so on. However, that has a very limited practical use as we have discussed in the previous modules. Uh, it may not uh, represent certain kind of games like the card games where you cannot really uh, observe the complete state of the game you cannot really see what the action that has been picked certain uh, by certain players and so on so uh, we need some richer representation than the perfect information game because it does not capture all sorts of games and also if you talk about uh, the representations uh, the simultaneous move games for instance uh, the the normal form the games that we have uh, uh, represented using normal form uh, like the neighboring kingdoms dilemma or a similar such kind of games we cannot really represent that using perfect information so for instance if you uh, go to this uh, very uh, classic example of this neighboring kingdoms dilemma uh, the fact that one player when it picks its action does not know what the other player's action was is not being captured by the perfect information extensive form games so for instance if we draw the the graph in the following way where first player is actually choosing uh, at this point it is it, it has chosen but it uh, uh, it has not disclosed it so uh, it has chosen let's say a now player 2 does not really know which whether player 1 has chosen a or w uh, but uh, how can you represent that with the graph representation that we have done so far we, we cannot so in order to incorporate that kind of a situation in, uh, into the uh, extensive form game as well so that the extensive form representation becomes as powerful as the normal form representation as well, uh, what is done is uh, this two specific history. So the history A or history W, these are two states of the game uh, which are indistinguishable to this player 2. And to represent that indistinguishability uh, in the in the this modified version of this extensive form game we just connect these two uh, histories with a dotted line and this uh, two histories together form what is called as an information set so we call this uh, sets as information set which means that uh, this uh, for this particular player so we call this an information set of player 2 and represent that using i so i of player 2 and this is the first information set. There could be multiple uh, as, uh, such information sets in later parts of the game. Uh, so this particular information set is where player cannot, this particular player cannot distinguish uh, which state of it is in. So this is uh, certainly a more general representation than PIEFG. In particular, you can always represent a PIEFG using this uh, representation, which is known as the imperfect information extensive form game. And uh, you can always force all these information sets to be singleton, which will mean that that is a perfect information extensive form game. So therefore, IIEFGs are generally more general in its definition than uh, PIEFGs. However, for a specific uh, uh, normal form game, uh, as in, in the case uh, before, uh, the IIEFG uh, representation might not be unique. So, for instance, the same game can be represented in a different way. So, where player 2 moves first and now player 1 has uh, an information set containing two uh, non-terminal histories. So, this will be I11 and uh, the corresponding uh, terminal history. So one uh, thing that you might have noticed that uh, in if you are in the information set because the player cannot distinguish uh, whichever, whichever term, non-terminal history it is in, the action that it can pick, uh, the action set that is available to it has to be the same. So because it cannot distinguish, therefore why, uh, how can it uh, actually play different actions? So in all the nodes in a specific uh, information set, you will see that the action set are the same. And this is true for, for the previous example as well. 
so uh, this is the uh, this is the um, uh, the informal definition um, of the of the imperfect information extensive form game let us make it uh, more formal using the notation that we have developed so far so the uh, imperfect information extensive form game uh, already starts with a, a PIEFG so the first part is just the uh, just like the PIEFG but it also has this additional information which is the information set information what is that so for player i this uh, i i is a is a collection of multiple uh, sets so i i 1 i i 2 to i i k i so there could be k i number of uh, information sets for for player i so this is a partition of all the non terminal nodes where player i is the player so this is what it means that we are looking at all the histories, non-terminal histories, where player i is going to be the player, with the property that the action sets uh, in in all these histories in in the uh, in the same information set. If you are considering two different histories, so for instance, if we are looking at this history h and this h history is h prime, then at both these histories, the action set should be the same. And of course, the player set has to be the same. That's how we have defined it. Now, as we have already said, these IIJs are called the information sets for player I and uh, cap capital II is just a collection of all the information sets of I. So, these individual things, uh, individual sets are called the information sets. So, there could be uh, first information set, second information set and KI number of information sets for player I. So there are certain differences with the PIEFG. Uh, so since the actions of an information set are identical, X can now be, so this uh, script X, which was the, uh, the action set, can now be defined uh, uh, instead of uh, individual histories, you can define it over the information sets. So in the very degenerate case, the, the uh, information set could be just a history, uh, which, is, which is very much uh, uh, possible. But in general, the information set now is the is the lowest level of abstraction uh, of of the history for a for a specific player. So we can define the x over a specific uh, information set for all the histories which are living in that information set because this is the set is going to be identical. And therefore, we can also define the strategies uh, defined over information sets. This is also very natural. So, how does it uh, 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 compare with the previous one? So, just remember that earlier we had the, the same definition. So, SI, the strategy set of a player I is the Cartesian product of all the non-terminal histories where player I is the player. Now, we are just changing it to all the uh, uh, information sets of player I. So therefore, it, it will just be Cartesian product of all the action sets over all the information sets of this player I. So with IIEFG, so uh, we see that uh, now we have a much richer representation uh, with uh, a perfect information uh, ex uh, extensive form game. We are not able to represent the normal form games, but with this uh, uh, extension IIEFG, now we can uh, uh, represent the NFGs. However, there is a word of caution that it is not a very succinct re representation. It's not very concise. So there are uh, representations. So NFG representation is the most appropriate for the simultaneous move games as we have said before. Uh, and uh, IIEFG or PIEFG is more appropriate for sequential move games. But nevertheless, uh, IIEFG is definitely a richer representation uh, than both NFG and PIEFG.